Hey guys, and welcome to the preview show for the Season 14 College World Series. Uh, you know, it's been a uh, fantastic tournament so far. Uh, the regionals had some crazy upsets. Um, definitely some teams I thought would be at this point are, uh, you know, they were knocked out in their regionals. I know Michigan was a good team. Uh, Oklahoma was definitely, uh, you know, a big favorite in their group and got beaten too. Um, you know, some other huge upsets around here. Um, I mean, I don't think Ohio State was really an upset, but a 20 seed. Um, and just some overall good games. Stanford getting knocked out. Um, Super Regionals was a bit more vanilla. Um, you know, pretty much all the favorites ended up winning out. Uh, I did consider Ohio State the favorite in that series. Um, and I also kind of considered Florida State the favorite there, but uh, I guess it didn't really work out that way. And, um, you know, so we got a few first-time teams in the uh, World Series this season. We got Maryland. Uh, we got Mid-10, uh, Texas A&M, and Binghamton. Uh, so four uh, newcomers into uh, Omaha here. Uh, so I think it's definitely going to be a uh, solid one. Uh, so let's go over to Group A. Uh, we obviously have Oregon, the number one overall. Uh, number five, Binghamton. Number six, Kentucky. And number 20, Ohio State. Um, so this is going to be a uh, really tough group here. I mean, obviously, Oregon's been great all season. Uh, I believe they have a couple series losses um, to teams that are here, actually, Ohio State and Binghamton. Um, so this could definitely play out in a weird way. Um, I know Coach Mike Jr. is one win away from 100 tournament wins. Uh, so he's definitely trying to get that 100th win there and be the first to do it. Um, you know, Oregon, they've got, you know, great offense. Uh, you know, rank first in runs, you know, first in uh, home runs. So they're always a power hitting team here. Uh, first in average on base and slugging. Um, they do play Ohio State uh, as the first game. Um, and Ohio State has had a little bit of pitching, pitching issues this season uh, from what their coach tells us. Um, so they're ranked 175th in ERA. Uh, so they're going to have to pull something out here to uh, stop the offense of Oregon. Um, you know, they've been letting up quite a few runs in the, uh, in the tournament. And um, it's definitely not going to fly against Oregon. I mean, obviously they bid, uh, did beat them earlier in the season. Uh, so it's definitely going to be an interesting first game that's going to kind of shape this group. Um, and then obviously you got Binghamton and Kentucky uh, playing in the second game there. Um, this is going to be a really good matchup. I don't believe they played in the season. But as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, Binghamton's got a lot of solid wins in their non-conference. Uh, they came out really dominant. I mean, wins against one, two, uh, three... Yep, three College World Series teams and a Super Regional team. Um, so they're definitely looking hot. I think they might be the favorites in this group here. Um, and obviously, Kentucky, they're the uh, defending national champions, so they're not to be taken lightly either. Um, they had some huge upsets last year against Florida, who I thought was favored to win that one. Um, so I'm definitely not going to count them out yet here. Um, they can definitely do a lot of damage. They've got a Overall solid team, uh, you know, top 21 in batting average, uh, top 20 in runs. Uh, so they got a really solid offense there, and they, uh, you know, really good pitching staff there, uh, ranking in at fourth. Um, so it's not a, uh, you know, definitely not the underdogs in this group. Um, I'm not really sure how I want to rank this group here. Uh, I mean... I think you got to go Binghamton 1, Oregon 2, Ohio State 3, and Kentucky 4. I think that's how it's going to play out, but I don't think I've ever been correct once. Um, so it's definitely a uh, very interesting group, and I can't wait to see it play out starting tomorrow. Um, and then we got Group B. Um, another great group here. Uh, as I mentioned... I do believe Virginia is the favorite overall to win. Um, you know, we didn't really see them play, uh, you know, too many tough series early in the season. 
Um, so it's kind of tough to gauge their success, but they were so dominant in the ACC, uh, you know, which has a lot of good teams there. Um, so it, it's really going to be tough. They, uh, you know, they pretty much dominated the tournament, had a little slip up against Duke, but came back and, uh, you know, killed them in the next game. And uh, as I mentioned before, Bear Dillon, he's definitely, uh, you know, a legendary coach. He's looking to put together his second national championship and, uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's this season. Um, obviously, you know, top four offense, uh, great at hitting the ball there. Um, it's going to be tough to take this team down. I'm not sure anybody in this group is really ready to do it. Um, they got Texas A&M, uh, also my team. Um, I didn't think we would make it to this point this season. Uh, this is my third year with them, and uh, this is our first tournament. Um I mean, we've been okay all season. Uh, we, you know, we got a couple of losses here, Kentucky, uh, Notre Dame. So, I mean, those were tournament teams, Binghamton as well. Um, but I guess we'll see how it plays out. We've had a great tournament so far, uh, you know, a few close games. But, uh, you know, we dominated New Hampshire in the Super Regionals. Uh, so I think this team can go, uh, you know, Maybe give Virginia a run for the money there. Um, you know, obviously a great offense there as well, uh, followed by a pretty good pitching uh, rotation. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. Um, and then we have Maryland. Uh, this would be their first um, College World Series as well, their first trip down here. Uh, I know we got Coach Yoda returns. If I remember right, there used to be an old coach named Yoda uh, for Maryland that did fairly well down here. Uh, yep, a 70% win, uh, won Super Regional before. Uh, I guess he just left the game and returned. Uh, so welcome back. Looks like you've been back for a couple seasons now. Um, and you got this team rolling pretty well. Uh, you know, won the uh, Big Ten. Big 12, why can't I remember this right? The uh, the Big 12 here, I believe. No, Big 10, Big 10. I think we got it now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they've got, uh, you know, so a solid team here. Um, looking to make noise for the first time in the tournament. Really been to Super Regionals a couple times. Um, so, I mean, they got a decent history there, but... Uh, Guess we'll see how it plays out. I'm not sure they really have the, the firepower uh, to get through these teams. I mean, I mean they got a really solid offense there as well. Um, you know, and I guess a good pitching squad there too. I haven't really followed this team too closely all season. Um, so I mean, I guess they could make noise. They got to beat Texas A&M first. Uh, it's going to be a uh, tough matchup there. I mean, they, they've swept Ohio State. Uh, you know, so, I mean, they can definitely win some tough games here. Um, and, again, it's it's the World Series. It just takes, you know, uh, sometimes it's better to be a little lucky than good. And so we'll see what plays out. And then uh, last but not least, we got mid-10. Um, obviously, the biggest surprise, um, like I, I mentioned before, they were dominant earlier in the year. Um, you know, fizzled out a little bit in the uh, Conference USA. Um, but, I mean, uh, overall, it, it's kind of a tough conference there. Uh, you know, it's one of the uh, group of fives so, that, you know, they're pretty solid. Um, they, uh, you know, won every single game. They haven't dropped a game yet here. Uh, you know, beat Florida State, a former champion, two seasons ago. Uh, so it's no accident they're here either. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they got here. Uh, I guess they have the number one pitching in the game, uh, 3.34 ERA, uh, 199 batting average against. Uh, so they can they can hold down uh, some players there, it looks like, and they're going to definitely have to because it's not an easy group. Uh, I think both these groups are stacked equally. Um, so it, it's going to be tough to make it out of either one here. Um, you know, it looks like they got a solid offense, so uh, I guess they're locked and loaded. They're ready to play here. Um, they got to take down a uh, tough Virginia team uh, in their first game. Uh, if they can do that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a surprise, and it's going to shake this group up. But uh, ultimately, I think 
How it looks right now is how it's going to end. Virginia 1, Texas A&M 2, Maryland 3, and Mid-10 4. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, Virginia versus Binghamton. Um, it's going to be a good series, I think, if, if, if we get to that. Uh, I am going to give Virginia the edge, though. Um, I mean, I do want to root for Cinderella here in Binghamton, but... Uh, you know, gut instinct tells me it's going to be Virginia. Um, they're not going to be denied this year. Uh, they made it back-to-back uh, -back tournaments uh, to the championship before um, against Florida. So, uh, and Florida had a little good run right there, making it three straight, but, uh, you know, dropping two there, so that's kind of unfortunate for them. Um, but I do remember one of these series was actually insane. Um, and then the second one was just a blowout. I can't remember which one, which way, but, uh, you know, Virginia has been a really good team for a long time and uh, definitely not going to be surprised if they hang another banner for a championship this year. Um, I think that's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned. We will have a, um, a Let's Play update tomorrow uh, when the uh, transfers drop, or not tomorrow, on a, on on Thursday when transfers drop uh, so stay tuned in for that um, again as always if you like the video subscribe um, you know if you want to support me or the site go ahead donate uh, everything helps um, you know I, I work pretty hard on the site I put a, you know thousands of hours into this uh, you know to make everything good for you guys and uh, we do have some big updates planned um, maybe do a dev series video this weekend uh, but there's definitely going to be some huge changes in the uh, next month or two. Um, I'm probably going to put equipment on the back burner for right now uh, just to get you guys these other updates. That I think you're going to like them a lot. Um, other than that, you guys uh, take care out there and thank you for watching.